the importance of Apple shifting to its own chips, what is at stake here for the you know, likes of Intel and the rest of the chip, chip industry? Yeah, I mean, it's it's certainly not good news for Intel. hasn't been for a while. Um, and, you know, as, as you pointed out, I mean, the important thing is, look, margin, right? It's going to improve margin for their business. Uh, they, that, that's always a big part of one of the metrics in terms of what we look for in Apple. Just to be clear, though, it does mean that they will have to support two different CPU engines going forward, meaning the old Intel one on a software basis, right? So that's a bit more cost there. It's a bit more to have to do. It's not as if they can't pull it off, but it's not as it's not as a pure margin gain as you might think. So I think that's that's the other thing to, to be aware of. Ed, can you say that again? I just want to make sure I caught you on, on why the Apple's profit margins won't be quite as much as people are maybe salivating over here. Well, again, so the having it in-house will improve margins on the device, but they, from a software perspective, they're going to have to continue to support the old engine, right, on the older products. So, you know, it's it's incremental more cost, but it's more cost, right? It's not as simple as that they're just going to get, they're going to harvest a better margin purely from, from, the, new, from the new chip. They, it, there's a software cost associated with that. Fair enough. Angela, let me turn to you with the stock just under 118 today. Where are you on it? What's your target price? How significant is this event uh, for investors? Yeah, I mean, we continue to recommend the shares. I mean, clearly there's been this rotation out of uh, tech, as everybody is aware of. Um, but that being said, if you're more of a patient investor out there kind of willing to wait this out, um, we do have a buy recommendation and $145 target price. Now, that being said, um, as far as this event is concerned, Listen, Macs are about 10% of Apple's total revenue, probably not going to have much of an implication out there for investors. However, that being said, we do think this event is important from the perspective of, hey, listen, it'll allow kind of, um, you know, Apple to start kind of, um, you know, allowing kind of Macs to kind of operate on the same type of architecture that you see on, um, you know, some of the their more mobile oriented devices and thus, you know, provide just a, a better experience overall across their ecosystem. Angelo, I'm also curious, as we see this massive rotation playing out in the market from pandemic plays uh, to reopening plays, which one is Apple? I mean, this is a stock that arguably suffered from uh, losing some iPhone sales, even though, yes, absolutely, it got Mac sales this year as a result. Um, but the iPhone is its bread and butter. So what side of the equation does Apple fall in? Or could, is it the kind of stock that might benefit regardless? Yeah, I think that's a great question. I think when you kind of look at how the stock has performed here, right, since the January um, 2019 bottom, I mean, we're looking at a stock that's nearly tripled. You look at the March bottoms here and how well the stock has performed. Clearly, the work from home theme has been great for Apple. Um, they've also benefited on the iPhone side of things because consumers are just spending more and more on electronic devices rather than kind of going away on vacation. So that being said, um, the whole stay-at-home theme has actually worked very well for, for them. Now, that being said, uh, you know, we think the stock will probably more in consolidation over the next couple of quarters, despite the fact that we probably see upside to the iPhone consensus estimates and the fact that they will benefit from the whole reopening theme. So which side of the equation are, are they on here? Um, I'd say at the end of the day, pretty much both. But, you know, given kind of the yeah. move we've seen here in recent quarters, expect, you know, some consolidation here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.